Hey guys, welcome back to Callisto Protocol with Dude Long Couch. It has been a minute since I played this game, and for that, I do apologize. Sometimes real life kicks you in the nuts in ways that you didn't see coming. Now, it has kicked me back a wee bit. We may have to redo a couple things that we already did here, but not too many, I don't believe. When we left off, I think we were just a little bit up this ways. I might get jumped somewhere along the way. I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> I know we've been through this door already. I did want to let you guys know that since the last time I played... I have enabled performance mode. I just kind of wanted to see how it looked and felt, and it is markedly improved performance-wise. <laughs> Obviously, the graphics aren't going to be quite as sharp, but it just feels a lot better to play, you know? Jesus. Okay, well, hopefully you're just stuck in there. <laughs> All right, our inventory's full up because we have a very, very restricted inventory. Didn't remember, here's what we're working with. We've got this BI-55 hand cannon pistol. I've got three heals, 12 shots for my gun, and then two pristine energy converters to sell. And that's literally all we can carry right now, which I don't like at all. Like, I'm gonna have to leave this ammo behind. But, I guess I'll just trust that the game will take care of me. <laughs> Jesus. Does this game have a quick turnaround? This really feels like a game that needs a quick turnaround. So what we're doing right now is we're trying to find a guy who I believe was in Shu, the Solitary Confinement Unit. And we need this guy because he knows how to call down a ship from orbit so that we can escape. I believe that's where we left off. Oh, is this going to be my kinesis? Don't need that. <laughs> Found one of those gloves that Captain Ferris had. Okay. This time it's called Grip, guys, not Kinesis. Come on, get it right. So how does this work? L2 plus X, use Grip to grab objects. That said, use R2 to launch objects? Okay. So it's basically Kinesis. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Oh, we got another gate fuse. Okay, good. Dude, how long has this guy been dead? I thought all this stuff just went down, and there's already flies all over this dude's body. Creepy area, man. I wonder if we can use grip to find hidden things collectibles, or even maybe just, like, ammo and resources that we couldn't get to without it. What the hell's this? Dude, look at the way he just left. <laughs> You know, these flesh monster things. Something was infecting people right before the breakout. Virus HB. Is that HB or H8? Stage 4. Anomaly detected. Yeah, I detected that too. Procedure. 
That light is super bright. <laughs> Pigmentation status. Loss risk, 87%. Guys, if you have an 87% chance of losing, it's probably not worth it. <laughs> Alright, when am I going to get jumped? It's got to be like any second now. Hello. Okay. Grab enemies. Give them a good launch. Then do it again. Oh, wow. God, what? Why? Oh, it's already run out? Jesus. Well, I'll tell you, it's a good thing I'm a dodge master. <laughs> I don't need no damn kinesis. Ah! There's another one. Ugh. Don't scare me either, tub nuts. Ah! Okay. Multiple guys might scare me. Ugh. This is bad. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, he just broke my neck. <laughs> That's great. You know what? I actually want to die a couple times in this game because the death animations were like a big selling point of this game. So if you're not actually getting to see those, you're kind of missing out, I feel like. <laughs> we have to watch this again. Yeah. What if we just didn't do that? Okay, so maybe we'll save Kinesis. Yeah, I don't I don't want a Kinesis this guy. They're gonna make me for the tutorial. Fine. I'd rather wait until there's a bunch of dudes trying to kill me though. <laughs> Some bitch came out of nowhere, man! I mean I knew he was coming, but <laughs> I didn't hear him. In that second, you know? Dude, this guy's so fat. That was a whiff. He's blocking my... melee attacks. Which is quite rude. Oh, what? Is that like... Is it less effective on him because he's so big, maybe? Out of here, man. Now, where's the third guy? Or maybe that first guy didn't actually die in that first encounter? Who can say? With any authority. Not me. Not this guy. Yeah, so I was gonna say, I feel like these guys are creepier for the fact that they don't really act like necromorphs. In the sense that, uh, they don't have, like, blade appendages and really sharp teeth that they gnash at you with and things like that. They just kind of attack you like real humans. They're almost like zombies from The Last of Us. <laughs> In the sense that they're just like really pissed off people. With obvious physical mutations too. But I don't know, the fact that they'll just come, like, they'll just run up on you and just like go at it raw, you know? Oh, I didn't grab the fuse. You know, they could just checkpoint me after I grab the fuse. That would have been acceptable. No matter though, it's close by. Maybe there'll be another guy that spawns now that I have this. Yep! How did I know? Oh god, there's multiple dudes. There's so many dudes all of a sudden. What the fuck, man? Three of them? Okay, man. Gotta focus on the dodges. For sure. Let's try my heavy attack. Oh, I guess I didn't even need that. 
Okay. Let's heal up. I want the inventory space anyway. <laughs> I gotta say, I sure do hope that there is a inventory expansion sooner rather than later. GRP battery pack. Okay. The grip will slowly recharge over time and can also be recharged quickly with a grip battery. If the grip runs out of power while holding an enemy or object, it will drop. The grip will automatically consume a battery from the inventory, if available, to refill the blue grip power meter on the back of Jacob's neck. Grip batteries can also be used manually in the inventory screen. Grip batteries can be picked up, found inside loot crates, and dropped by enemies. Dude, I don't want to have to manage yet another thing in my inventory. You gave me six open slots <laughs> to start with. Six. That's not a lot. <laughs> if I have one of everything, just like one stack of... God, fuck! Get out of here! Prick. Alright, so as I was saying, <laughs> if I had one stack of like every type of item I picked up so far, that would only leave two open slots for, like, another stack of six rounds or an extra heal. <laughs> Which is, like, not enough. Not enough. Oh, well, I guess I'm not picking that up. Great. Okay. Love it. Here's the med observation room. That gave me a save. Let's go see what's back here. Oh, thank God. Another reforged spot. Okay, good. Uh, you know what? Let's make some room before we go spelunking. UGC printing. Have a united day. Yes, please give me many of these things. Obviously, we can get rid of the energy converters. These battery packs really only sell for 10. I don't think... Man, that that makes them almost completely useless to me. Because <laughs> that's like not even worth selling, but I don't really want to take up space in my inventory either. I think I'm going to sell that one for now, and then just kind of hope that I don't actually need one of those things anytime soon. As in, like, you know, any puzzles that may require one. I kind of feel like the game probably wouldn't do that. I would hope. Or if they do, they should provide one, you know? Please make a selection. Okay. Now, do we really need three health injectors, is my question. I would rather have room for picking up the ones I find. I really wish we had a storage chest. But I think two is kind of like the max I can justify carrying right now. So I guess I'll just sell that. And again, just kind of hope that <laughs> it doesn't end up screwing me. That we could get this capacity upgrade for our pistol, which would probably be really nice. Or we could add an all-fire module that fires explosive rounds. Oh, that sounds pretty sick. It's expensive, though. Alright, I'll grab this, because this lets us carry more ammo. UGC printing, the highest quality. When they limit the hell out of your inventory space, Have a united day. you gotta game the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can carry more ammo in my gun. And it looks like we also have upgrades for the grip now. We can do an energy upgrade, increase the max energy capacity with aftermarket expansion cells. Black market shit, guys. We could upgrade the recharge speed. Or we could upgrade the velocity. Hmm, that sounds kind of fun. 
I don't know, this didn't seem super useful yet. I'm sure it gets better as we upgrade it. Just don't know how much I care right now. We can buy health injectors for 500. That's not cheap. And ammo. Uh, I feel like I should probably focus on my melee because I think that's supposed to be like the biggest component of this game. Unfortunately, I cannot afford any of these upgrades except for the blocking counterattack, which is the one I'm least interested in because you take damage while blocking, so. <laughs> this unlocks a new low attack for use following a successful block of an enemy's final attack. But I mean, if you're doing it right, you shouldn't really be blocking, I don't think. So... It'd be really nice if I could afford this damage upgrade. I could just sell all of my <laughs> health. <laughs> eh, I think I'll save up for this. Maybe there's $200 worth of crap nearby. Maybe. Alright, so my gun can now hold nine shots. Okay, pretty good. Okay, let's go kill some more flesh monsters. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, I just don't think these bodies have had enough time to actually rot like this. Oh, maybe. I guess I don't know how long I was asleep for in my cell. Automated recording of Officer Doc Simmons. Yeah, let's take the time to read this while we're... <laughs> while we're choking on the smell of rot. So I guess we can throw that whole scientific progress motive out the window. <laughs> no, we just like being dicks. Screw this guy. Let's torture him. For fun. Oh good, another battery pack. Get the sense I'm gonna end up dropping a lot of these. Lockdown. Cause it's a lockdown, baby. Drive me crazy. Dun, 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 dun. Looks like it's busted. Why don't I trust that? Well, guess I'm dead. Ah! Jacob, you still with me? Yeah, barely. So I need to figure out why this system's acting up. Reset the power down there and get to the other elevator. We're nearly here. Another elevator. Can't wait. <laughs> 
Shake it off, Jacob. You'll be fine. What the fuck? Ah! Bad necromorph thingy. What the hell? Dude. <laughs> I do not consent to the tentacles with the faces. I say no to that. I don't know if these things spawn more. But I'm gonna stop all of them as I see them. Find a way out of the basement. Right. Ah, what, 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 where? Why with the noises? Okay, there you are. Okay, might need to start conserving the ammo a little bit. I only had to leave 8,000 rounds behind in the last part, but now they're not giving me any. I will say, you know what I like about this game so far, though? Jesus! Not this! Out of here! Oh man! Fuck you! I wonder uh, what happens <laughs> if they pull you the whole way back. Probably nothing good. No, I actually like how, at least so far, this game has been fairly linear. There's been a couple divergent paths, but they all kind of like lead back to the same place. As I get older, I find that I actually like that a bit more in games. Jesus. Stop blocking all my melee attacks, prick. Heavy attack! <laughs> oh, it's got knockback. Okay. Hurt. Dude, he just took my head off! <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a weird thing, because I also really like... I really love the style of games where they just drop you into a big open world and let you choose which direction to go. But I also like it when games are like a bit more linear and just kind of more straightforward about where you need to go. I guess if it's like a more story-driven game. You know, I kind of just like one or the other these days. I don't like stuff that's in the middle. I suppose I would say. So is there a way to avoid getting grabbed by these things? I tried holding to the side to dodge there, and it didn't work, so... Maybe you can, like, shoot them before they grab you? I'll have to try that next time. Okay, soften them up. Dodge and melee. Dodge. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Ooh. I would very much like to throw somebody into that! Ah! God, God damn it! Stop grabbing me! Ugh. We also have a spike wall there. Okay, we gotta keep an eye out for environmental stuff we can use to our advantage. I 
do see that box right there. I'm guessing I can't bring it to myself through the fan. Yeah, that's fair. Now, if anybody else shows up, we're going to try to use the environment to our advantage. I bet you we get jumped back here. B. <laughs> oh, no, there's no spikes on that wall. All right, come back here. Come on, bitch. <laughs> Workplace hazard. <laughs> so now, does that? Okay, we can still stop. I was gonna say, does that rob me of my loot? Because that would be a problem. <laughs> Let's hit this first. Ooh, that was a pretty decent box. Officer Carrie Brown. What was the point of picking that up? Didn't even give me a log. Strange. Uh huh. Stealth time. Oh, there's a lot of these fuckers down here. And I have to pick our moments. Unless one of them jumps up here. In which case, our moment will be chosen for us. Okay, that, that did not work at all. Shit. Hold on, hold on. Ow! Hold on a second! <laughs> I wanted to try to throw the clearly marked explosive canister at him, but he was too fast. Yeah, this game, even on performance mode, it does feel, like, a little sluggish. It's kind of like, yeah, I think I know why... <laughs> why the dodge system works the way it does. Having a timing window would not feel good at all. So maybe I can grab that canister down here? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that really doesn't go very far at all. How dare you try to throw that devil spawn at me. All right, all right. Oh my goodness! No! No tentacles! Put the damn tentacles away! Told you before! Hey. Told you about that, too. No, I fell! Get out of here. Come on. Really? Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is not good. Gonna have to become the Dodge Master again. Do I not have a grip battery? No, I don't. Didn't I pick one up? Uh, 
I must have gotten used in such a way that I didn't even notice. I thought I still had one. So I was going to try to pick up this last dude and throw him into the spikes, but it was not meant to be, clearly. Yeah, the combat's a funny thing in this game. It actually works a lot better if you actually just go a little more slowly than you would expect. There's a gate fuse. You know, like, don't counterattack too quickly. You gotta wait a minute after you dodge to see if they're going to attack again. And then if they don't, that's when you can do a counterattack. Oh, you know what? Wasn't there a door all the way back here? Like, right when we first came in. this is worth backtracking for. Also, I see some loot up there. You're kidding me right now. I can't rip that down because it's not recharged, I guess. That's really stupid. mind backtracking a wee bit. There's some good pickups to get. I just don't want to get attacked again along the way, you know? Alright, what do we got? Skunk gun schematic. Okay. Skunk gun. No idea what that could possibly mean. It's gonna be some kind of... Odor gun? Like we fire out a... Horrible odor that incapacitates the enemies? Maybe? Just a guess. Sounds like something out of Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> I'll just take this back then. Huh. Now, I guess we could backtrack to the Reforge, but... I kind of want to just keep moving ahead right now. Um, this way. Oh, and there's a thing on the wall, too. Okay. Got it. You kidding me right now? Goddamn schematic takes up an inventory slot. Well, I guess we'll use a heal. Huh? Gotta have at least one stack for extra ammo. <laughs> and I'm gonna assume that this will have another heal in it. Yeah, great. God, man. That is honestly really annoying. Even a fucking schematic has to take a spot in your inventory. One of your six spots. That's really good stuff. It's really good. 